Hey everyone, I'm in Among Us on the Xbox Series X and I'm going to show you how to play. So I've launched the game here and it says online how to play, free play, etc. And when I first looked at this I was like, what the heck man, I don't understand. So first of all, the first thing you can look at is how to play. Now this tells you a little bit but it's not very clear so we're going to go from that, jump into free play, get used to the controls and then jump into an online game. Right, so let's go how to play. So it says Among Us is a game of teamwork and betrayal. Players are either crewmates or an imposter play with 4 to 15 players online. These are the controls, so you can see we sort of move around, then we press A to use something. Okay, so the left stick moves around, as we can see down the bottom left, and then A is accessing these things that aren't popping up at the minute, but it gives us some idea. Next one thing, here it says you can have an Among Us account on another platform, you can maybe be able to link to that account, determine who you want to play with, if you want to play with friends, set to private. Um, or you can sh and share the room code, or you can play from others by going around the world and set to public. If you want to play with more tasks, how about faster walk speed, more imposters? As host, you can change these settings. Be sure to confirm the changes with your fellow players. If someone is being rude or spamming, host can temporarily kick players as a warning or ban players from a specific online room. Uh, this is the map. So there's a few different zone, uh, sort of maps and areas that you can go to, but this is the, you know, the this one obviously. Um, and then it says what your objectives are. So if you're part of the crew, it says fill the group taskbar or discover the imposter. So if you fill the group taskbar by doing all your different tasks, you'll win the game. Um, or if you find the imposter, you'll win the game. So that's your, your two different things. You can report dead bodies. You can react to the imposter sabotage. You can call an emergency meeting if you figure out who the imposter is. Um, or when somebody dies and somebody finds the body, then there'll be a meeting so you can figure out what's going on. The imposter, if you're um, that, your job is to try and blend in with the crew, you can sneak through vents, you can pretend to run tasks, you can sabotage the ship and confuse the crew, close doors, trap victims and kill off the, kill? Kill off the crew between cooldowns. So when you're playing the game, there's no talking allowed to keep the game fair between the crew and the imposter. If the player is killed by the imposter, they cannot talk until the game ends. Uh, ghosts can still run around and still run their assigned tasks working towards a possible crewmate's win. So when someone reports a dead body or calls an emergency meeting, the crew gathers to discuss what they know about the imposter. They can now talk openly about who they think the imposter is and what information they have. When playing in person, ghosts cannot talk as they already know who the, who the imposter is. Imposters will try to prove their innocence or accuse another crew member. After discussion, you vote for who you think is the imposter. Whoever gets the majority votes will be ejected from the ship, so vote wisely. If you don't have enough information and have decided as a crew, you can also skip voting to avoid ejecting someone innocent and gather more information. Practice in free play mode, set your own tasks as a crew member, or practice your imposter killing strategies. Cool, so I'm gonna back out here and we're gonna have a little look at that free play mode. So when we're back on this one here, we've then got free play. So jumping in here, these are the four different sort of zones or maps, uh, most common of which I've, I've, I've looked at at the minute is the Skeld, so that's what I'm gonna show you here. So we'll jump into the Skeld and I'll explain how this all works around. So the left stick is moving us around. So we've got some tasks, so when you start the game, it will give you each player that's in the game a variety of tasks, and if everybody does their tasks, you can win the game that way, or your other option is to find the imposter. Now we've not got an imposter in here because we're, we're just learning about the tasks. So if you hold down the left trigger, you will get a map pop up and where you've got exclamation marks are where your tasks are. So you can kind of move around. You can see here I'm sort of using the map to navigate and see my little dude underneath. Um, I could, if I wanted to hit the left stick, uh, left trigger again to get rid of that map. So once on, once off. And there's also some dummies. These are so you can try being the imposter if you prefer and try uh, sort of killing them. You know, you can work that way. But uh, when you get to an area with an exclamation mark, you'll see it highlighted here like we've got here. And when I go up to it, you see the AUs it pops up down the bottom right. If you're on a different platform, that will show as a different button. But for here, I'm going to hit A to use. And all the tasks are slightly different. So you can just run through them all here. You can turn on additional tasks, but there's loads of different tasks just to make it that little bit different. They're not too clear when you get to the task how to do it, but this one, for example, is simply press a button and wait. So I hit the A button and the files transfer from left to right. Now, obviously that's a pretty boring task. And then when it's done, it'll quit me out of here. You can see my tasks up the top left now show that I've done that one. So I go back to my left trigger to get the map up and I'm just moving across the different rooms 
to find a different area. Now, what we're learning here is purely uh, how to do tasks. So I'm just going to whip through a few different tasks. <laughs> this one's just as boring. We're uploading the data that we just downloaded. But I will show you a few different ones and how you can access all the different tasks on here before we jump into a proper game. Um, so I'll just go down here. So this is a fairly boring way of winning in um, Among Us, but it is a perfectly valid way of winning as well. So the trouble is when you're trying to do your tasks, particularly if you're in a lone, alone in a room here, you're very susceptible to being killed. So this one you have to hold down the A button and then use the left stick to move the wire to where you want to come to and then release and then press, oh sorry, <laughs> release when it's there and then move the left stick down to the next one and do the same thing, hold down the button release when it's there, left stick down, hold A, move the thing with the left stick and then let go and the same one here. Once we've done all of those it will show us fixed. This one is very very easy it just says divert the power to navigation so you can see right stick we just move that up job done so some of these are ridiculously easy as you can see um, so some you're at risk for merely a second others you're at risk for longer if the task is taking you longer as you can see from some of these tasks when you're performing them it kind of hides quite a bit of the screen like here I have no idea who's around me as I'm doing the task and I'm obviously having to concentrate on the task um, so I am very wide open to being killed by the imposter and not having a clue who it was. Also bear in mind that if you are killed by the imposter you can't help in the voting anymore um, because obviously you know who it is so to try not to spoil the game if you are killed is tough. You can just sort of interact with people who are also ghosts, that's it. Let's have another, oh, it's another fixed wiring so we're not getting some very interesting things but you can see that I'm getting pretty good at this. Another advantage of playing these in the little free play mode is just to get fast at doing the tasks so you can help your team. This one is merely flick the left stick, rotate around the left stick to get that one working and we're nearly done so we've got one more the reactor here. Now you can see as I'm doing the tasks I've got a green bar appearing up the top left and if that bar gets full we win the game. However the tasks are split between all of the players so if some players don't bother doing their tasks you ain't going to win the game this way. So you can hint for them to do it by using the chat option which I'll show you in a separate video um, but it depends a lot of people just like trying to guess who the imposter is so this one shows a flash of uh, the, the area that I've got to go to so I move the left stick if I let it go it goes back to the center move the left stick there and it's that and now I've got to copy that sequence for the second one which was bottom left uh, sorry top left bottom right now it's top left bottom right bottom left and then you can see the sequence just gets that little bit longer as we go. Ooh, that one, that one. So there, that means we would have won because the taskbar was full, but for free, -ish, free play we now issue new task instead. Now, if you think, oh man, it, it, it is just doing sort of random ones here, so there, let's just check that reactor again. Is it the same thing or is it a different one? Just while we're here. Yeah, it's the same one. So if you want to do different tasks, if you want to get used to different tasks in here, what you can do is go over to the cafeteria and there is an option here um, with this computer where you can mess around with what you've, what you've got. So under admin, you can see we've got fixed wiring at the minute, but I could also put on swipe card. So you can see that's added to my tasks now the cafeteria, I could add things like empty garbage, clean vent, and then these will all be popping up on my uh, to-do list. Uh, so you'll see now I've got far more to do, so if you want to try the other tasks, that's how you add them. So this one, really easy again, hold down the right stick, get rid of the junk. So, <coughs> excuse me, nice and easy there. So the other thing you can do here, now most of the time you will be a crewmate, but occasionally you may be assigned to be an imposter, and you can try that out here by again going to the computer, and so you can see at the minute I'm a crewmate. I can also opt to try some of these other ones, like I can be an engineer, then I can use vents to move around, or I can be a scientist, I can do other things there, or a guardian angel, so if I've died. One of the options of being a ghost is you can opt to protect someone so that it's harder for the uh, imposter to hurt that person. But we've also got the option to be an imposter or a shapeshifter. So if we go for the imposter here, you can see my options now change. So left trick will be to sabotage something. So for example, I can go and ruin something. So if we go down here, let's see where the point has taken us to. What do we got? So we've got the option here to sabotage this. Uh, I'll just go, there it is. So have I done it? 
I'm not sure we've done it or not. Possibly. Yeah, so that all the lights have gone off. So you've got options to sh sabotage, but also if you find, let's just move the task out of the way so you can see a bit better. We should find some dummies around here because your main job as an imposter is to wipe people out like this dude here. So once you're next to someone that you can kill, uh, you want to make sure that nobody can see you doing it and then just kill them and then they're gone. The game, when somebody discovers that body, will then stop and then people can vote. But if you, you're sly and nobody discovers the body that quickly, you can go off and kill somebody else uh, while you're doing it. And again, remember, if you kill these people, then people can't, those people can't vote and tell people who, who it was. So it's quite good the way that works. Uh, you can also move through vents. So RB to go through the vent, then I can move other locations and then just flick off with A and then RB to come out of the vent so I can move around quick. Engineers can also do that, so if somebody sees someone go for a vent, doesn't necessarily mean they're an imposter. But obviously if they see people killing people or sabotaging something, that's a good um, sort of idea that that person is indeed an imposter. Right, so let's jump out of here. So I'm just going to, uh, where do we want to go? Where do I come out of here? One sec. <laughs> I don't even know. How do I come out of the game? There we go. So I've hit the menu button to leave the game. So what we're going to do now is jump into an online game uh, and I, that's how I'm going to finish off how to play because that's going to show us the last bits of play in a game. So whether this is going to go well or not, I don't know. So I could opt to be a host. Um, so that would be me in charge of setting up the game and turning on the right, right and wrong rules. Then people could join that. Public is where I can find a game to play with other people. Private is if I wanted to ha uh, play with a bunch of online friends and kick everybody else off. If you go with that one, you can have a specific code that you can share with other people so they can jump in on that game and have a private game. But we're gonna go with public. Now, the public is a bit random. Sometimes it works fine, sometimes it does. It depends how quick it fills up. Um, so we just jump on anybody here and see. So you can see that one says, no, you can't join. Um, so we just jump around. So it depends on people's pri privacy settings, uh, whether I can join or not. So we'll just keep going until we hopefully find somebody. Uh, and this is a, something that threw me initially. I was like, oh, maybe it's broken because there's so many games where it goes, eh, eh. What about that one? No. Typical, you know, as I'm recording. They say, no, no, no. Oh, man. So sometimes I'll, I'll join loads of games in a row, but finally we're in one. Hopefully we won't get kicked out. So you come into like a holding area before the game starts. Uh, and this may or may not be good, we'll see. So it sets up all the map on there. Um, I did forget to show on the screen before, which I'll try and remember in a minute. Um, you can pick one of the different maps if you prefer. This is the map that I know the best so far. This seems a little bit slow at the minute, so we'll see whether it sorts itself out. Oh, rubbish, disconnected, so we'll try again. And this is my biggest grump with the game at the minute is the way this works. It seems to rely on other people rubbish come on it's in <laughs> but I think it's good to show this just to show you that um, we're not you know too crazy here that this happens so you've got to be patient I I've never known a game this annoying actually that you know you've got to be there we go this one looks all right so when you're in this area you do have the ability to change your costume if you wish so there's a little wardrobe here so while you're waiting for this to fill up there's only four or 15 players at the minute it's up to the host how quick they want to start the game so the more players we have potentially the more imposters if it goes over 10 players we have two imposters to deal with so here i can go in and change my wardrobe right trigger flicks me through the different things so i can pick a different hat here oh that's quite cute we could have a little like that with an alien on my head or whatever so you could so if I want to pick one of these just hit A to confirm or I quite like that that's a little bit slow this at the minute it's a bit chunky so we'll see how this goes oh wow that's slow hello there we go thank you so I have my hat back but just showing you can pick a different thing so it looks like the game's going to launch so fingers crossed all is good so the main difference between what we saw before and now is we're obviously going to have main players so there's an imposter oh I'm an imposter I've never been an imposter so this is going to be interesting so I get to disguise myself if I want and I just move around so people are going to be looking for the imposter um, to see you know how things go so what my job is here is to try and kill off somebody quite um, without other people seeing me so we're just going to run around and see what we can do here so 
Let's have a little look. So we're fairly early in the game. Oh, look, there's, there's somebody here. So let's go here. There we go. Killed him. Hopefully nobody saw. <laughs> so nobody saw that one. But I can't kill anybody else for a moment. Now somebody's reported the dead body. So what happens now is a meeting is called. So people are now trying to figure out who who it was. So if we hit the RB, where, where, where. So people are adding stuff. Now if you want to join in with this, we could hit A. And then you have all these different things here. So we can ask a question. Um, so we could go who. And our job is to obviously um, dupe them into thinking um, who it was. So in my case, I'm the, the imposter. So we'll see what people do. So lots of people are voting. So at this point of the game, um, some people may have no idea who it is. So you can see there, I don't know. Someone come watch. People are voting. And then it, once everybody's voted, so I've got a vote, so I'll just say that one. You can see a lot, of, a lot of people skip down the bottom left. Some people thought it was Lister. One person thought it was me. So you can see who's voting for you, who's suspicious of you. And we can see no one was ejected, so skipped. So one imposter remains, which is me. <laughs> so we'll go off. So I've got one person following me. Let's go see this person here. So I've got the option of sabotage and stuff here. And obviously I can kill someone if I want. There we go. So we got them there. He <laughs> nobody saw me. So um, we'll see what happens. Oh, someone discovered that pretty quick. Vexter was dead, found by Dion. So see if anyone saw me so I'm trying to confuse people by saying oh I need to know who it is and see if anybody knows skip 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 nobody sure so I'm gonna skip as well so obviously people will be keeping an eye um, who it is but the voting hopefully gives an idea if anyone's on to me as to whether I'm the imposter or not. Let's see what happens. 23 seconds. Keep an eye on the chat. Voting ends in eight seconds, seven seconds. So obviously if the imposter's discovered sooner, the game will run quicker. But a lot of people haven't got a clue at the minute. Nobody's voted for me, so we're going well. seconds before I can kill someone again. So you see the cooldown, you can't just go on some crazy killing split spree, we can only do that now and again. So there's two people there, I'm not going to go with them. Too many people around. <laughs> oh, it's good fun being the imposter. Does anybody know it's me yet? <laughs> it must have been being imposter is quite funny. I think green. Oh, 
pink and admin and they ran out towards storage. Who's pink? You are Macron screen voted for me. Pink, who's pink? Pink, pink, pink. Oh, cutie pie. Yeah, let's go with them. So what we ideally want now is for people to just be voting for themselves. <laughs> someone in here that's not me rather than skip because that's going to wipe out more people. People think it's green. Oh, look at that. Gale Turk was hammered there. <laughs> and they weren't the imposter. Brilliant. So we're having good fun here. Hmm. So I can't kill for 20. Not quite sure how that works, that sabotage thing. me so we're doing a good job here of being the imposter as you can see but it's quite fun in trouble that was fairly close
Hey, you can see everyone's confused. Brilliant. Although they are getting close to completing the task, so the tasks seem to be going down a little bit. Let's see if anyone's on to me yet. <laughs> but another one kicked out. So there I voted for them as well, so because there was two people voted for them, we got them. So I could shape shift and then people won't know. Okay, so let's shape shift Lista. So now if somebody sees me kill, they'll think it's them. Which is quite a cunning idea because, you know, obviously that's quite quite condemning, isn't it? We can find someone, but obviously if I bump into Lister, Mr. Lister, sir, Red Dwarf fan, I guess. Oh, I know. So they were protected. Oh, I know. So, because they had a guardian a angel. <laughs> he knows it was me because he had that guardian angel. So what happened there? A ghost protected them. I'm a... <laughs> well, let's see. So it's up to Lister. Who do they believe? <laughs> yeah! Brilliant. Looks like I'm going to win. to jump into that again just so people can see it let's see what they say <laughs> let's just say See if we get any nice comments. There we go. So I'm going to leave that one there, but I'm going to keep playing this game for a second video. If you found that useful, great stuff. Um, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks very much. And uh, see you again in another one.